Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to unwrap the sword in Blender. I will show you my complete process of unwrapping the sword. I hope you followed the sword modeling tutorials completely. Also if you have not subscribed my channel yet, then please subscribe it because here you will keep getting tutorial series like this every week. Create a new image. 2048-2048 name checkers generated type uv grid select the blade go to shading in the shading create a new material press shift a and find image texture select the checkers connect color to base color now we have to inverse the selection Press Ctrl I to select all the elements except the blade. Now press Shift and select the blade again. Press Ctrl L and link materials. Now the material is applied to all the elements of the sword. Friends, I am going to show you how to live unwrap the sword in Blender with simple tools and techniques. Let's start with the blade first. Activate the live unwrap. Make the middle edge loop of the blade. Now press U and select mark seam. As soon as I selected mark seam, it unwrapped the blade into two pieces and shown on the UV editor. To see the checkers, go from solid to material preview. Now select the other object from sword. Let's select this part. I think we can unwrap it from the middle edge loop. To avoid texture stretching, let's add some more cuts. Now it looks nice. What do you think? Now select this part to unwrap. This object is symmetrical so I got another opportunity to teach you one more technique to unwrap it more quickly. Select this edge loop, press U and mark seam. Press shift ctrl M to shift the mark seam to the other symmetrical side as edge selection. Now press U and mark seam. Let's repeat the process again on the other side. Shift Ctrl M actually shift the mark seam into S loop selection and transfer it to other side of any object which is completely symmetrical. As you can see that how quickly and easily we unwrap the piece without any problem. Now move on to other piece. Let's select this edge loop and this edge loop and I think this one. To perfectly unwrap the middle portion, this edge loop should be selected. Now press U and mark seam. Go to material preview. Result is exactly same as we expected. Let's go ahead and select another piece. Select this edge loop, this one, this one and this one. Select this edge and this edge. Press U and mark C. I think this was the simplest piece to unwrap till now. I hope you like this tutorial. If yes, then please hit the like button. It motivates me to create more and more videos for you daily. Thank you. Let's select these edge loops quickly.
select this edge and this edge, press U and mark C. Don't worry about the layout of the UVs, we will arrange it later. Let's choose this piece now. Select this edge loop. As you can see that the edge loop is not continuous, so we have to press shift and alt while selecting the edge loop. Now press U and mark seam. Oh, we have to add one more edge here as mark seam. Now it is perfectly unwrapped, isn't it? Friends, you have seen that how easy it is to unwrap any object with live unwrap method. In this channel, I am sharing all my skills and experience in Blender, ZBrush, Substance Painter and other 3D software. If you are interested in learning these skills, then please subscribe my channel. I am here to guide you. Select this edge loop and this edge loop and this edge mark seam select this edge loop and this edge loop these edges as well we have to select one more edge here now it is perfect. If we have to texture our object very accurately, either in Blender or in Substance Painter, we must unfold the mesh in a way so that it is easy for us to apply a 2D texture on the 3D object without any issue. Press Shift Ctrl M to transfer the edge selection like before. Make a cut here to unwrap the piece properly. Go to material preview. Now it's look good. Select the handle piece. We need to select only this edge loop. Isolate the object, select this edge loop or I think this edge loop, press U, mark scene. Now select this edge loop, mark scene and select this edge loop, mark scene. Go to material preview. I think this is ok. Now let's go to the handle. Select this part. Here also there is no continuous edge loop. So we have to press shift and alt while selecting the edge loop. Select this edge and mark scene. If you have any question regarding the unwrapping process, then please share the question in the comment box. I will try to answer the question. Select the edge loop by pressing shift and alt and left mouse click. Press U and mark scene. Select this edge and this edge mark scene and this edge mark seam. Now choose the handle, go to edit mode, select the edge loop, mark seam. Press ctrl and select this edge and this edge, mark seam. Select this edge and mark seam. Hold down ctrl and select this edge and this edge, mark seam. Select this edge loop. Mark scene. Select these edges as well. Mark scene. Now go to material preview to see the checkers. 
let's select this piece isolate the selection now go to edit mode and select this edge loop mark seam this edge loop mark seam now hold down control select this edge and this edge this edge and this edge mark seam select this piece go to edit mode select this edge loop and mark seam select this edge loop press u and mark seam same on the other side unwrapping can be boring if it is repetitive one piece after the another but it is very important to unwrap all the pieces accurately otherwise it will create problem and we will need to spend extra time on baking and texturing so it is better to give some time to the unwrapping process what do you think write in the comment box I deleted the inside polygons of the straps so that we keep the polygons count low and it is also easy to unwrap. Just select all the polygons and unwrap. We don't even need to apply any marking, I guess. Now you know the process. Let's quickly unwrap the rest of the pieces. You can see that the texture density for each object is different from one another. That's because we did not properly lay out all the UVs in a single UV map right now. Our next step is to place all the UVs in a single UV map and maintain texture density for each piece as per our texture requirement. Select all the pieces in object mode, then press tab button to go to edit mode. Now press A to select all the polygons. Go to UV and select average island scale. Now go back to UV again and choose pack islands. Thanks for watching the video till the end. We have unwrapped the sword and matched the texture density of each piece, but we need to place them properly so that we can easily texture them in Substance Painter. In the next video, we will do that. Friends, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, then please subscribe it because here you will keep getting tutorial series like this every week.